All right, everyone. No. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. My name is Mac, and welcome to this reaction video. Yes, you heard that right. A reaction video. A uh, VOD review to a streamer named Sindriel, who I quite enjoy. And uh, now you're going to see me react to uh, her reacting to my clip or my VOD. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy my thoughts as she goes through and kind of educates my gameplay. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. We have a VOD review courtesy of Mac from twitch.tv slash Sundrial. The channel points were redeemed for the free VOD review, so if you're interested, then come hang out, get your channel points, and have fun with us. Yeah, so when you're done with this video, go check her out whenever she's streaming. All right, so you said this was like an open queue, right? No, this was a what you call it? Uh, this was a normal roll queue. Uh, I sorry, I forgot to explain that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Fara, play nice, play Fara. I don't think I've reviewed a far yet, so that'll be nice. All right, so you got Mercy Pocket, so that's really good. Oh yeah, I should probably give this as a context too. Nobody was in team chat. Only me and one other person. So two people out of the six on the team. So that's a big yikes for me. All right, so we don't know who they have yet, but I'm just gonna look at the top. So they have a hog and a sigma. So the only thing with sigma, you just gotta fly over his shields and just shoot him down and stay out of hook range from the hog. And with your mercy pocket, you shouldn't get shot down as quickly by the Ana or the Ash, as long as the mercy pocket stays on you, of course. Remember, folks, make sure to ask if whoever or healer can play mercy and they can pocket you because. Having a pocket is really nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, we just gotta stay in the air. Junk was normally spamming here and you just plopped right on them. I'm surprised you didn't stay on the truck. I would've stayed on the truck. Cause All Junk right. has, the higher Junk has to aim, the more difficult it is for him to land his shots cause of the bouncing and the trajectory. Yeah, I play a lot of Junkrat, so it's good to know that, because Junkrats don't usually aim in the air, because their projectiles are kind of like arcing, so there's a high probability of them missing. That was a relatively safe res behind the truck. Thank you, Mercy, for doing so. And I know also, like, as opposed to just getting the bot reviews, you can get the bot reviews and actually watch top 500 players of like who you're trying to get botted on. So for Farah, I just watch a lot of Yuzan or however you pronounce his name. But I've noticed like I've I watched one of his streams a while ago. It was just once so I was able to tune in, and I noticed like when he's playing Farah, he likes to rocket the floor to like give him a little boost. But he can only do that because he has a mercy pocket constantly healing him. Now, you won't be able to do that if you don't have a pocket or constant heals on you. But he does rocket the ground a lot and takes that splash dam a lot just to get a higher vantage point. I kind of did that when I was trying to focus down the ash. And uh, usually watch streams just to learn. I only just watch them for entertainment, although... Uh, some of the streams I do that I do tune into, the streamers are educating, so that's kind of nice. However, I am a flex player, which means I'm watching everybody. If this mercy decides to stay on you, then that's like a really good thing to like try to practice on or just try to work on as well. Okay, just watch so just and shoot, learn. Shoot at your feet and then like use your rockets, so and that gives you like a higher boop distance than just what your rockets can do. Yeah, so kind of like that, <laughs> except you bumped into the wall. That's weird. Why did you bump your head there? There was a platform. 
What am I supposed to do against an RNG far, platform? Like well. It was a moving platform. Yes, it was. Wait, Let me see that. Moving platform. Screwed me. Oh. I hate it. Thanks for the oh. <laughs> That's funny. Are you happy, Blizzard? Are you happy that I hit my head on that moving platform? You got cock blocked by a platform. Yeah, okay, so now you're taking top left, that's good. That's a really good angle right there. Now, playing against hit scans and stuff, you ideally want to stay around the corners and like peak shoot and stuff and bobble vertically and horizontally to just throw your hitbox off. So ideally you would just want to like stand over here. Like say like this is far right now. You just want to like peek and then maybe like fly up a bit, shoot, then go fly down. Just like keep doing this like kind of like how Hanzo does. But of course this way you're like you have more vertical and horizontal movement because you're flying and hovering. I don't really do that as far uh, although I probably should. It's just good to know. I'm glad that that's Sen knows these tips and little tricks that hopefully I can remember to impl implement into my game. Why are you sad? I thought you were cat jamming. Why are you sad, Alright, here I know the Ash is low. Let's get a pick on her. See, that was safe because you, you shot her a few times. That time your, your mercy just left you. Mercy left you so that Ana Tickle got you. Which is Unfortunate. Why, like, why I was mentioning earlier. As long as the Mercy stays on you. That's a good uh little concussed rollout or whatever. A boop out. That wouldn't be a rollout, that would be like a boop out. You boop yourself out. Oh, yep, rock. Hit that rock like a champ. Yeah, and I know you I know as far you have like direct rocket hits, but if you're playing Farah, for me, I just try to aim at the feet. I do this as Sigma too, if because if you try to aim for their head, it just it could go like straight, like sideways, like past them and stuff. But if you aim for your for their feet, their hitbox for the feet is wider than to do to their head, and that's really good for Farah because she doesn't have a crit crit shot chance. Whatever that's called. But yeah, she can't hit crits on a rocket, so you might as well just aim for the feet. Generally, I aim for the body. Hopefully, that gets the direct uh, kill. Uh, at least that was my thinking. But yeah, splash damage is annoying. And I should probably utilize it more to my advantage. I liked how you turned away from the Sigma using his suck ability. Like I'm 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 glad you at least reacted to that, even though he got some of it. Make sure I'm not feeding, because then I don't want the team to flame me. Alright, so looks like we're gonna try to get a potential boop if they do TP. Yeah, I always come over here uh in the event they have like a uh, the Metra and they're gonna do like teleport. And I'm going to be the one to make sure that I either kill them or push them off, which also kills them. So just make sure if you're able to get that communication, make sure you do it. Nobody was in comms at this point. It's just me and another person. Shooting beyond the Rhine shield, so that's good. There's a Reaper on our right. Okay, I, I, I would have turned around to shoot that Reaper, because Reaper can't really get you if you're flying high. Reaper has no range for the shotguns, so instead of like still shooting down the main, I would have gotten the Reaper on the right side, because I heard him on the right side. So I felt like you would have survived if you just put pressure on him. It's only because he was on the right side by himself as well. Yeah, I, I didn't even see the Reaper. I guess he was focusing on one target and then kind of looked my way and said like, Oh, you're low, let me kill you. Dead. But thankfully, uh, this Reaper died eventually. Like, if you really wanted to, you could, like, play in this window 
on the top left as long as the mercy is with you again because like the soldier can like shoot and then rocket helix rocket you and just delete you quickly like if i if you had like this this mercy has been doing a pretty good job staying on you too so i would i would probably be a little bit more confident thank you as mercy long as she stays with you just be like hey mercy can you stay on me i'm gonna like fly like right on top of them <gasps> yeah i noticed you're not using your um concussion like a whole lot for like displacing enemies but you're using it for yourself to like get out of the point faster like that that would have been a good um concussion shot to get the junk off of that high ground and just splash damage right where he's going to land yeah i don't so just something to think about i don't usually use my concussion blast at least not in this match i don't use it to uh to displace enemies That was a good reaction to that tire. You heard exactly where he was and went towards him. Got to make sure this gun crap is not having a good like, day. That barrage, I, since there was no one else to shoot forward, I would have turned around, and then you probably would have gotten that Zarya. So you confirmed those two kills, but since there wasn't anyone else in that barrage, just like turn, I guess, and see if you can hit anyone else. Because you never know. I was hoping uh, my team would... Confirm those kills over on the right side while I was getting the soldier and the and the Baptiste down. But I guess we didn't do that. Uh, communication would have been good. So, yeah, unfortunate. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, you can see it. I, I saw the Mercy beam on you, but maybe she like disconnected a little bit. I will not. Oh, you ate that. That was a good boot to put pressure on the tanks and your team. I uh, missed those That's shots from Zarya. Okay, that time the Mercy wasn't on you, so the, div so the um, soldier just got you instantly. I wanted to get the Lucio, but he yeah, was like, nah, I'm gonna, just gonna I'm live. Gonna say Mercy. Hope I'm this now. Yeah, this, yeah, we were just trying to stall through the only ones on point, so. A good effort. Since it's defense, I'm like, let me be annoying. Let me play Sim because you can't do Jack against Sim. Okay, so for Sim, I would put the. I like to put the turrets like on here, right here. Behind the sign is good too, but. Right here, they could shoot this one easily. So yeah, I would either put it behind the sign or like on this wall. I tend to put like two like on the choke, and then one kind of nearby, mainly cause like that one right there, in case they have like a Faro or a Junkrat or a Genji or whoever can go through that window, they would get burned a little bit. But I'm mainly gonna have my eye on that one. Of course, look at me, just sit back, relax, basically do nothing. And unlucky by this Orion. Yeah, so like, like Farah, Sim doesn't have a head hitbox, a head hitbox registration, so the chest area for shooting, because it's a user, the higher, highest hitbox for eye level. And whenever this May goes in, I'm going in with her. So, yeah. Unlucky by the uh, far. Unlucky, as Chipsa would say it. So that death, I think that was just an unlucky death. You, you played by the choke and stuff still. You never overextended, so I think that was just a, just a wonky death. I stepped out and the far was like, let me shoot here. Yeah, this Reinhardt's not having a good day because there's a May freezing and a Sim also, uh, microwaving Sim, her down. If the Zarya is like half, she bubbles herself. I would just still left click that because her bubble, you just you get higher charge, and then by the time the bubble's gone, she just gets instantly deleted.
Desperation TP from the Reaper. And Why didn't May walled that Vapult? What a weird May. Now is when everybody started uh, getting into the comms because there's like two or three other people who are in the group comms but not in the team comm. They're like, oh, we didn't know. Sorry. I'm like, nah, it's fine. It's fine. We're actually doing pretty well. So then, at this point, we're all in team comms. are like, okay, let, let's do this. Let's win this. Feeling good. Spirits highs. Their spirits are not so much high. I let this May do her do her work, and of course, that enabled <laughs> like, me to do she, mine. Like, stood up real fast and like fell back down. That's funny. Wow. Okay. That was anticlimactic. So that was that was a good push. You stayed behind the tanks, and you were just an extra like Zarya being behind. But anytime I play Sim with the Rhine, I always stay behind the Rhine. So I'll just be like the Rhine's guns behind a shield. Like old Bastion, you know? Okay. I thought you were going to go well, back to the thank platform. Thank you, Max, so much for the VOD review redemption. I hope you learned at least one thing. That's what I like to go for. I have not reviewed Afara yet, so that was nice to have like another piece of variety. So, yeah, of course. Thank you. I always have fun doing these VOD reviews and always like to do them whenever I can. So this will be part of the playlist of the 50 plus Ooh. VOD reviews that we've done on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, come hang out, twitch.tv slash sendrio. Get your lurky game on, get those channel points, and redeem your free VOD review. I did learn quite a bit. I'm I'm glad uh, Sendrio was able to review it. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I learned quite a few things. One mainly splash damage as far as helpful uh just kind of the a possible sim turret placements because it's annoying when you're on the receiving end of a symmetra turret teamwork well that's mainly the focus i wanted to highlight i, I was just a piece of the team's puzzle thank you Sandro, for reviewing uh, thank you all for watching this. Make sure to check out the original video and help send you out. And yeah, just check out our channel in general, uh, both through Twitch and YouTube. I'll make sure to have them linked in the description below. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.